Hey, how's it going? So this is a script that I put together and I put functions in and I put a namespace in and then call using the quote using tags. Uh, this is so that I can use the least amount of scripts as possible. And so that I can just pass functions, you know, like I said earlier, through those scripts, um, I can probably at least have one script on the camera and then just do all of the functions in that one script on the camera and then uh, or call all the functions in the one script on the camera and then uh, make all the functions in the other script. It doesn't have a mono behavior, by the way. So uh, this is a little bit tricky, especially when it comes to like using transform, which you can't do. Uh, you can only use a game object. Uh, rigid bodies you can use, but when it comes to prefabs, those are very hard to call. In fact, um, I found a few things in, I think it was SourceForge or Stack Exchange, whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's Stack Ex Exchange. And they said that you uh, basically have to put the prefabs in the resources folder and then call the resources. Um, <laughs> which for whatever reason, I don't understand why you can't just call the prefab itself. Um, yes, you can put in a serialized field. However, when the script is on nothing because you don't have a mono behavior, that's hard to do. Uh, the best thing to do to use is gameobject.find when it comes to calling or putting a bunch of functions in one script and then calling them in another. Um, I have a link to the script, so you can look at it and kind of see what I did. But um, here's kind of a picture. I think it's like line uh, 22, which is where the game object find is. It's very helpful. Um, you can see all my using tags in the link. The picture I don't think contains the using tags. Um, but I, as far as that goes, I've called like a function. I made something to where the player could move uh, the game object dot transform is the only thing that works and parameters are your friend when it comes to this because they are the only thing that you're going to want to use um, so basically you're going to want to call the or you're going to want to make the function in that one script and then you're going to want to make references to whatever your game object is um, if you have to use a serialized field and when you're using a prefab, prefabs will not work. So you can only do a script for the specific prefab. There is no using a function in the master script uh, for that because it'll always say something about it, the reference wasn't found or whatever, null reference object, you know, that error, which is insane. I don't understand why, but it's just how it works. Um, I can probably try and replicate the error and then like show you pictures. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of about it. The other thing that gameobject.find does is it's extremely helpful whenever you have a script on the prefab and you need to call a hierarchy object. You can't do it using serialized field for whatever reason, but you can bypass that by using gameobject.find. In fact, I recommend everyone get out of the editor and do everything via code because that's the smarter way to do things. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Have fun. I will see you guys in the next video.